Tama ba? It's not just a father, it's also a natural uh, today. And uh, incidentally, he also leads as the, the missionary department of Abia. You are welcome, sir. And to my brothers uh, who are here, and sisters who are here, and the media that they have come, say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First and foremost, I want to thank you for having time to be part of this program. The program is highly selective. It's just for about 30 people. So it's not a program that it's, everybody is invited. Uh, every, everybody are not invited. It's highly, highly selective. And there is a reason why it was like that. Those who have been following us, they know that we started a program in 2018 called Project H5, which is encouraging accountability and transparency through faith-based intervention. The project came to an end in December 2021. And it's 2021 or 2020? 2020. And Alhamdulillah, we launched a new program uh, called Project Eat Halal. Uh, from each fine, it came to Eat Halal. But do you, do, what does the each fine do? Or what did it do? Each fine trains imam and religious leaders on anti corruption, on how to talk about corruption. If you notice, if corruption is removed from our country, about 95% of our problems are solved. 95, I can assure you, the money will be enough to do everything. It will even remain. In fact, the children that are yet on board, they will can be paid their salary. That because we are suspecting that they are coming to this world, this is the salary they will be taking. But because Corruption as it's deep. What 200 million people we share? About 20 people they have pocketed everything to the level that we do not have just one naira to do anything again in our life. So we gather the imams on what to say, and that time we work in six states of Nigeria: FCT, Kogi, Kaduna. Kebi, Lagos, Ocean, then to some extent, Niger. But during that course, we discover that all the lectures we have been doing and all what we have been trying to make the man do, two things we are able to see. We discover that imams and religious leaders are not ready to steal. They are not ready to encourage other people to steal if they have something that can be sustaining them too. Most imams are not too materialistic conscious. All what they want is a little things that they will solve their immediate problem and looking fine, that's all. But because nobody cares, about that, out of looking for you to what to eat, it has come to many mantles, even much more oppressive than the people in power. So what do we do? Two things we did. We were training them on what to say. They agree. But there was a question of, if you say we should not talk about corruption, the people that we will be talking against, they are the one that used to give us what we eat. How do we do that? Am I lying? 
the way to survive is next to the one we call project It's Halal. It's Halal, this time I, I was not supposed to be using my to say it. And we can now move to the next level. We were looking for where we can get support for our demands. First and foremost, we went to one organization called All Farmers Association of Nigeria. And we discovered that this All Farmers Association of Nigeria, they have so many opportunities that we don't know that they had. And at the end of the day, all farmers of Nigeria agree that anybody who wants to be involved in a Greek, they will know him or her everything that is in need of up to the level of market. Let's say you want to plant rice now. The only thing you need is a very big of land. A very big of big land. And after that, just contact us without contact them for you. They will bring caterpillar that will work there, that will clear the land. They will give you the seed. They will also give the fertilizer. They will help you to clear it. And when it's time to harvest, they will help you to harvest. And they will give you where you are going to sell it. They will take the money that borrows you to do it. Then you will now take 70% of the profit. It's like you are sitting down, you are seeing it, and things are coming to you. We never knew this in existence until when we went there and Alhamdulillah, they see us as the first Islamic government that realized this and is now working. Secondly, we also went to one government organization called National Directory of Employment. What we did was we met the topmost of the management. We met the Director General and all the management. What did we do? We signed an MOU with them. And do you know the result of that MOU? We never knew that MD has so many opportunities that is beyond what you think. MD can train you. When they train you for a particular skill, there is one money in CBM. You cannot access that money except by the training of NDE. Hmm. Then they now give us the opportunity. How many did they give us recently? Mohammed, NDE. Uh, in Sokoto, we have 20. 20 people. In Sokoto, 20 months. In Kaduna, we have 7. In Kaduna, 7. Then we have uh, another 11 in Noshu. Noshu? I think that is the second round. The first round, how many they give all the states? Five, five. Seven, seven each. They give each state seven, seven. They are giving the man, giving them training. And there is even one that they will just be paying them. We never knew those facilities, opportunities are actually there. And we discovered we can only achieve this by coming together. And lots of people be in front to go and do this for us. And Alhamdulillah, this thing is now working. Now, we still want the man to be talking about this corruption thing. But many of them, they do actually don't understand what constitutes corruption itself. For example, in the mosque, the imam, they want to appoint people who will be in charge of collecting money. He has to bring the man that is the closest to him so that he can be giving him rewards. They can be known how they will be sharing it. He now take his son or somebody of his manner that they are the one in charge. Not somebody who is qualified to be in charge of money. You can see two is already an oppressor, but they will not know. So we decided to write a book that will help the imams and other religious leaders to know what to say, how to say them, and when to say it. Hence, the production of the book in your products. Someone guide. Incidentally, about three, four, five professors, including big, big shakes, you can lay your hands in this country, they were part of those that wrote the book in your front. And we don't want to do like normal Nigerian thing. When they prepare a particular book, it will just be there in the library, and people will be saying, oh, this is a very good product, a good work, but nobody will know how to use it, and nobody will use it. 
And that is why those who will guide us how to use this book, they are the ones who wrote it themselves. So you can see it be very easy. It is not just an imaginary thing, and that is why uh, our father, ambassador, is one of those who led in the writing of this book, and is also going to be one of those that will teach us how to use the book they have written. Your Excellency, we are very grateful, sir. And uh, we are also expecting Professor Taufik Abilasidis, is the Imam of the University of Abuja. If you notice, there will be two types of lectures in, in your program. One by Ambassador. Ambassador will give us the theoretical aspects. What, so that you understand, what does each topic say? How are you going to present it? What does he want to teach? What do you know, what is expected that people should learn from each topic? There are about 10 topics on, on and on in the book. So if you want to make you understand it precisely, okay, this is the meaning of this thing, this is where we are going. But Professor Tafik will now give us, as a practical term, because he's also an imam, say, okay, he now choose one or two of those topics, he practicalizes it for us, so that at the end of the day, it will be registered in our brain. When we are doing this, we, many of us might not know, Akadubiya has a kind of a working relation with uh, BUK, Bayou University. There's a place called Mambaya House in BUK. I don't know whether many of us know it. You know Mambaya, I know you must know. Uh, Mambaya House, we work with them. They have prepared so many books. In fact, we sat an MOU in this hall with um, uh, about six, seven professors. But by the time they came, they thank Allah for what they met with us in al They have written so many books, and I asked them, who are those using this book? And there was no answer. And that's why we said, okay, we, will not, we are not going to be like you. If we teach people how to use it, I'm very sure it will interest us in use, especially those of us who have member. 